What is going on guys, it's Wolfa here and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now last time we left off, we figured out, you know what, it's pretty impossible to do the Mr. Cheese Crop special request, especially this late into the month. So I've just been kind of ignoring it. I put up the uh, like 20 or so crops I actually got into storage. Uh, apparently they're just going to despawn uh, whenever the mission ends anyways. So it's not like we'll be able to keep them for next time. So uh, we'll just keep them there. And if it's going to be the beginning of next month and we get that mission, then I guess we could try it, especially because it's going to be winter time, right? And there's nothing else that's going to be growing except for over on the island. But Penny's over here. I like to do a little reading first thing in the morning. It gets my brain into gear. Oh, that's pretty cool uh, but this episode what I want to do is because it's Monday it should have a new special request from Mr. Chi as well as a regular special request that we could do uh, we still have to do that one to get uh yeah ginger we're about two-thirds away the done there a little bit better than two-thirds of the way down there and we still have a week left so we may if we just keep going to the island every day or every two days or whatever we might get enough ginger to finish this pretty early you guys so definitely don't want to forget about that as well as over here you can see little gungus with her little uh dinosaur helmet that we put on her last episode she's so cute she's just like the version of me from the past because i've got a chicken on my face right so it's kind of a weird meme in that regard uh last episode we also found two more golden walnuts one over by the docks and the other one over by leah's treehouse which is pretty cool so now we're up to how many oh yeah well we spent them because we got that what's it called like a farm obelisk and now we can actually teleport from the island farm to our regular farm over here completely instantly and for free which is really cool uh, we almost have the ability to go from here to the island farm instantly in the form of the island obelisk we almost have that unlocked we have enough money just need to wait for the banana trees to actually grow and then you know produce like what five banana fruit or something like that and then we'll be able to actually make it right we have star fruit wine right there yeah last episode we also got a bunch more casks down there i don't think we have any more wood to, oh whoops <laughs> i don't think we have any more wood to make more well we have 37 but i think you need like how many oh and i can actually make another one right now you need 20 wood but i need to cut down a bunch more trees uh, i have plenty of hardwood though 401 Although, I don't know, should I start getting some of the hardwood and putting them inside of the uh, thing up there, wood chipper? I forget. How much is it? 10? So if I get, oh gosh, not 200 of them. But if I get like, if I get like 10, that's going to turn into regular wood up here in the wood chipper, I believe, right? So I guess we could try that out. I only have one of them, unfortunately. Oh no, it's just one piece. Okay, well, it still gives me multiple wood out of that, I think. I think it just gives me one wood. That'd be kind of weird to go from one hardwood to one regular wood. But downstairs down here, we have a bunch of casks and even some of them are uh, silver star now. So need to keep an eye on them. They're going to turn gold star in two weeks, I believe. And then we're going to give them the fairy dust to turn them into iridium star and get some amazing money out of them. Right. But oh, yeah, over here, we're getting gold. What was I using the gold for? I forgot. Uh, but we're making gold for something. Oh, yeah. Crystallariums, I think. Right. Yeah. We made a bunch of crystallariums last episode. Where are those at on this? This right here. Uh, yeah, stone, gold, bar, iridium, but I guess we could try and make a few more. Uh, I think I'm going to need to get a lot more coal, though, from Clint, uh, which we have the money to actually just straight up buy it from him now. So might as well, right? Let's put that up over there. I guess we can make some more casks or uh, crystallariums. How many can I make? Just one more. OK, I guess I'll do that. Oh, this the thing that's holding me back is stone, but I have stone in my inventory right now. Heck was that sound effect? Not like a demon was like breathing in my ear or something like that. Anyways, uh, yeah, we don't have enough. Man, I must have used up all my stone crafting those crystal arms and whatever else. Yeah, so I can make another one. I just need a little bit more gold. Yeah, I just need three more gold and I can get another one. So that'd be good. But I think right now, what do we have? Ten up here? I guess I get two more diamonds. Let me continue producing those. Yeah, so we have a lot of fairy dust. Let's see, I think this room, yeah. So we have seven there, five there. Yeah, we have 12. Oh my gosh, we're going to have 14 of these things. I guess we'll start putting them uh, right here. Then every, what, four days, four and a half days? Yeah, four and a half days, we're going to get another diamond out of that. So that's awesome. Every four and a half days, we get 14 diamonds. That's going to be amazing, guys, considering how many uh, fairy roses we currently have right now. Hold on. So down here is the fairy dust. Yeah, we have 148 fairy roses, only 32 diamonds right now, but getting 14 every four and a half days. Yeah, we're going to start getting that number up a ton, huh? Uh, oh yeah, then last episode, because we like kind of skipped out on doing the Mr. Cheese crop mission, I, I ended up doing a special request for Willy, and in the end, whenever I completed it, he gave me a deluxe fish tank, so I'm very curious, how big is that thing? Compared to the fish tanks that we have down here, I think we got them from the, uh, oh, it's a little bit bigger. Uh, where could I put it, though? There's no room here. I mean, maybe, I mean, yeah, you know what, maybe I'll keep it in my inventory, and next time I go back to the uh, island, we could actually put a, a fish tank inside of the island's farmhouse, especially because there's no decoration over there anyways, right? So, anyways, right now, because we do have that extra cask I just crafted, I do want to place it down somewhere, like, say, here, I suppose. 
Uh, there we go. And then we can place another one here, another one there, and I think that's all the locations covered. And then, yeah, another one right there. I think that's going to be all locations covered here, right? So we're going to be making some amazing money down here with all these uh, Starfruit wine and the casks and turning the Silver Star, Gold Star, and then Iridium Star. It's going to be amazing. Just like last episode, some of the extra Starfruit wine that I finished up, I sold and now we're up to 1.7 million in the bank. Our luck today is plus 10%, though. I don't know if I want to take advantage of that by going to the casino and trying to get that top hat. I guess I could try that. Because it's raining here. It's not raining. Oh, yeah, it is. Well, it's raining on the island tomorrow. I don't know if it's raining today, though. I guess we could check, though, because I think later in this episode, we may have those banana trees done. So definitely want to check on them. But you guys know what it is. It's that time of the morning again. Let me do some of that morning busy work uh, real quick, though. It looks like we have some mail over here from the wizard. Greetings, young adept. I have enclosed in this package an item of arcane significance. Use it wisely. And Rasmodius Wizard. And he just gave us a, a random frozen tier. I don't know why that's like a big deal or whatever, but I'll still dig it there. Oh yeah, another thing real quick before I uh, pause. We did start moving the preserving jars from this chest or this shed over here to the other shed over there, which is really cool. So this is going to be nothing but kegs. The other chest is or the other shed is going to be nothing but uh, preserving jars. So that's awesome. And as you can see right now, these are all done. So I need to grab all these and I guess process a lot more coffee and then I'll start processing more uh, star fruit in these. So looks like I've got my heckin' work cut out for me. So let me just do some of that morning busy work and I'll probably see you guys either in the desert or on the island. Oh man, you guys, I forgot to mention, but yeah, we have a new uh, animal here in the barn, that little baby ostrich over here, which is really cool, but also last episode, we started incubating the second ostrich egg, and that's going to be done in like, what, nine, nine and a half, ten days or something like that, so that's going to be really cool, and I said it last episode, I was like, oh man, what are these guys even produce? I literally looked it up and I passed right over it. If we put it in the mayonnaise machine, we get ten mayonnaise out of it, which is insane, so I'm very curious to see what that's going to be like whenever we, I guess, put mayonnaise machines in here too, just because he's got guys are barn animals, right? So, uh, when is it going to turn into adult? Three or four days? Uh, six days. Fall 28 is when it's going to turn into adult. And I guess every, uh, when? Every, probably every week or something like that. I don't know. It's going to produce an egg and then we'll get 10 mayonnaise out of it, which is going to be awesome. So, definitely looking forward to that, especially whenever his friend hatches out of the incubator too. So, I know I've got to keep doing some of this morning busy work. So, I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, guys, back. Just got done doing a bunch of heckin' busy work as well as getting some of the tea leaves because it is the final week of the month. So, we're starting to get tea leaves from those tea trees way out. Only two of them, but at least we're getting some of them, right? But I don't know, let's go over to the desert. Keep it up, kid. I think you're gonna be a star. Oh, yeah, a star, a star fruit, or maybe one of those star uh, purple stars. I forgot what were those called. I always forget those were heckin' called. <laughs> Let me see, star drop. That's what it's called, a star drop. Man, I messed up my joke right there. Uh, edit the video to make it sound like it says star drop the first time. I think you're gonna be a star. Oh, yeah, a star, a star fruit, or maybe one of those star drop. But anyways, let's go over to the guy over here. I don't even know what this guy's actual technical name is. Well, we got 1.7 million in the bank. We might be able to just buy this outright. Where's the top hat at that you guys said? Oh, there it is. Eight top man. It's almost as expensive as the uh, the rare crow there. Golly. I guess we'll go trade in. Oh, yeah, we got the burnt offering. Well, we didn't get from here. We got it from the museum, I think. Right? That's pretty cool. But anyways, buy chi coins here, which are different from chi tokens or whatever you get from doing his missions, which. Oh, yeah, because it is Monday. I was a little bit too late to head to the island now because Willie's going to close. Man, but I wanted to go over there and see if I could start up his next quest. I guess we'll do that tomorrow or later this episode. Whatever. Buy 100 uh, for 1,000 gold. Sure, I guess we'll do that. So we're going to spend 80,000 gold for a heckin' uh, top hat over there. Um, I don't know if I actually want to do that. Maybe I'll just keep buying. Oh, whoops. Maybe I'll just keep trading these in until we have, I don't know, 1,000 she coins. Oh, wait. We already, yeah, we have 1,800. Let's get up to 2,000. I guess we'll do the high roller table or uh, whatever. Uh, did I have good, what, I have good luck on the slots or something? I don't know. Uh, you don't really control the slots. Oh, Melon Melon! Ah, oh, Melon Melon Star Drop! Man, didn't get anything good there. You only get bonus when if you get cherries on single and double there. Man, didn't get anything good there either. Now I'm losing a thousand gold every time I do this, essentially. Like, they're obfuscating how much money you're actually losing here, saying, Oh, you only lost a hundred chi coins, but it's a thousand egg and gold to get the hundred chi coins, right? So, oh, well, look at that, we got two hundred right there, aka two thousand gold. I don't even think you could cash out the gold here, though, so uh, you're stuck with the heckin' chi coins, right? Let's get back up to 2,000, I suppose. Isn't it 1,000 a hand at the high roller table? Uh, yeah, 1,000. Jeez. I guess we'll try. Oh, 19, I'm standing. Hey, duh. But he's going to get 21 still. 23. Hey! We actually won! We won 1,000! Don't mind if I do. I'm not going to double or nothing. I'm not I'm not risking it. Actually, you know what? Our luck is really good today. I wonder if that has any, anything to do with the, the gambling. Maybe I'll double or nothing anyways. Let's do it. Oh my gosh. Six and two. Okay, I'm going to hit. 
We're at 12. I'm, I guess I'm hitting again. Ah, oh my gosh, 21. Oh my heck and gosh, we got 2,000. We're up to 5,000. I'm doing a new game. Okay, we got six. I don't, I don't, think, I don't think there was an option to split there. 15. He's got a two though, so I don't know. Uh, it's a little bit close. I think I'm going to stand. With him at a two, I think it's safe to stand. He's at nine. Oh, jeez, he's at seven. Oh, he, man, he went over. Usually they stop at 17, but I guess not. Holy heck, we want another thousand. So now I just need to spend, what, 20 grand in order to get the 8,000 to get the top hat? I guess I'm going to leave. Let's quit. We made some great money there, you guys. How much did I? I think I went in there with 2,000. I came out with 6,000. Man, that was amazing. Should I just trade in my coins for the rest? I don't know. Maybe I'll just do some slots real quick. Oh my gosh. And we got, hey, we got at least one cherry there. So that's good. We got, yeah, a little bit of money right there. Don't mind if I do. Uh, let me keep doing the heckin' slots here. And uh, hopefully when I come back, I'm not going to be heckin' broke, right? <laughs> so I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Wish me luck. Oh my gosh, I was so close to three of those star drops. Golly. As you guys see, I'm at the 7,100 right now. So I'm up about 1,100 so far. Well, up a thousand right now, but. Guaranteed to get something from that. Yeah, of that random cherry right there. Not bad. Seems like I might be able to get to 8,000. Well, at least I get some money right there. Slowly creeping up 100 cheap token coins at a time. I might be able to hit that 8,000 here, you guys. I might just stop here pretty soon if I don't. If I, like, start heading backwards. <laughs> Maybe just spend the 10k or something like that to get that job out, but... Uh, yeah, I'm not having luck right now. At least I'm still up in general, right? Golly. Oh, a triple parsnip for 500. Don't mind if I do. Holy heck, two of them in a row? Um, can I get three in a row? Uh, no, but I got two cherries. I'm up to 70. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm stopping there. I'm stopping there, and I'm going to get the last 200. There you go. Boom. For 2,000 right there. And, oh, man, that took us under 1.7 million. But that's enough coins to get the top hat. Ba-boom, top hat, and we have ourselves a new outfit, huh? Because we got that suit that we got from who? Did we get that from Sandy? Who did we get that from? I forget who we got that from. Uh, but now we have a hat to go along with it, a top hat. You poor burnt thing. What the heck are you talking about? <laughs> Is she talking about my farmer's tan? I'm like, I am a farmer after all, right? But I know it's 540 right now. I think I think Willie, he may stay until like six or, or something. But I, I think we're just going to put off going to the island until tomorrow. Unfortunately, we're going to miss out on one day. Oh, yeah. You know what? If anything, we could still get the special request uh, in the regular board. See if there's anything anyone wants over there that we could do. Oh, yeah, there's Willie right there. Yeah, so he does get off at five. So that kind of sucks. Robin's resource rush again. A thousand pieces of stone, man. For unknown reasons, salmon. I guess we'll do a thousand things of stone just because we saw earlier our stone levels are getting pretty low, just like our heckin wood levels, right? So I guess we'll do that. Seven days to do that, I guess. Just bomb the heckin mines and whatnot and we're good to go, right? So I guess we'll do that. Maybe I'll go to the volcanoes and uh, volcano mine and keep bombing over there and at least whenever I do that, I'll be able to get some dragon teeth and uh, maybe some other loot while I'm trying to get stone, right? But for right now, it's 6.30 right now. I don't know if there's anything else I really need to do while out and about. Maybe I'll just go back home and maybe go to bed at a normal time. And then in the morning time, maybe we'll go over to the island and get another Mr. Chi quest, huh? So eh, let me just see if there's anything around here to keep me busy real quick. And I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, guys, I'm back. And my inventory is pretty much empty right now, which is good. But I do want to go over here and actually change how I look real quick. Oh, yep, yeah, suit top. So let's get that going. I'm curious to see what I look like now. So let's get the top hat. And uh, by the way, this is a before. So this is what I look like right now. <laughs> what the heck, I'm chicken on my face. That I've had for like, what, five episodes? Eh, probably a little bit longer now, but. Oh yeah, then I need to dye my pants to be like, kind of like, oh, then I'm going to have like, I guess I could use that one trick. How did I do that? I, I, I guess I need to buy those dark boots or whatever from the uh, Adventurer's Guild to turn the boots black in the sewing machine like I did that one time. But to get black farmer, I guess coal. Do I have like one coal just sitting around? I don't know if I do, because I, yeah, I used the last of it up. Can I use a bomb? <laughs> can I? I can. Produces dye of dark gray blackish, so uh, that might work. <laughs> Let's go up to the, uh, oh yeah, look at that. We got some wood, some wood. 18. That's actually decent. 18 wood, because I've got so much heart. I know someone said to do this. Uh, how do I get another wood? Or can I only buy, what's it called? Chipper? Wait, yeah, can I only buy that or can I craft it? Yeah, I guess you could only buy it because I don't have a recipe for the actual thing itself. Unless I have the recipe. Uh, I don't think so. You know, it might be one of those things you could only buy. You can't craft, right? So that kind of sucks. Oh, yeah, I need to do these slime eggs, slime incubate. I need to look into this stuff just because I've got a lot of iridium now. 
and fire cords and battery packs and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't have that much coal. Versus 100 pieces of slime into a slime egg is a miracle of science. I need to look into that. I think you guys said I need a, a slime hatch or a slime hunter. Either that or I looked it up myself. Uh, but I might start experimenting around with that stuff because we're getting pretty close to the end game here in the Stardew Valley. Like that Mr. Cheese like thing that we unlocked, like that's just a bunch of completionist stuff. And these like final Mr. Cheese quests, they're like super duper hard. So maybe, yeah, you know what? Maybe after I do all Mr. Cheese like special requests, that'd be a good time to leave off this series, right? Because I don't know if there's anything else after that, besides, of course, like, basically completing the entire game, doing all the achievements, doing all of this completionist stuff. I don't think there's anything after that that I would need to do for this series. So let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think about that idea of uh, ending this after that? But like I said, we still have a few things I haven't really experimented with, like the slime incubator and slime hutch, slime hatch, whatever that thing's called. So I might need to check that out sometime here. But yeah, I, I don't see that wood chipper here, so I feel like you can only buy that from a... Uh, Robin, so that kind of sucks, but uh, oh yeah, well, let's go die the pants <laughs> with the heckin' bomb, put the chicken mask in the uh, the overalls or whatever that is over there too, and I guess I'll just be walking around with blue shoes on, huh, and a heckin' suit, <laughs> but if I put the pants there, the bomb there, it makes it like a dark, so I might need to get another bomb, but I'm literally putting a bomb in my pants, <laughs> Look at these dark blue pants, but if I get one more bomb, yeah, so you're like an indigo looking color right now, so we're not like straight up black oh yeah what about bat wings i bet that does black dye too yeah and i've got a lot of them so let's get let's get two bat wings combine it together with my pants see if it actually turns them black so we put the bat wings up there yeah that's basically black can we get one of those back just put one of them up there yeah that looks about the same so i guess i can save one bat wing huh so now this is what we look like not bad. Like I said, the uh, the, the blue shoes, like you can kind of see that. <laughs> it's, it's sticking out like a sore thumb. Actually, do I still have those dark boots? Or maybe I could use those. Hold on. Where are they at? Yeah, custom tailored dark boots. If I get those, because I know these are technically galaxy boots or something, I guess we'd lose out on the galaxy boots or whatever those were called, huh? I'm like, these are better than them anyways, right? So it shouldn't matter. But if I do this and then let's see, so if I put that there, then this there. Well, that makes custom tailored mother. So I think I need to do it the other way around, right? Put that there and then that there. Custom tailored dark boots, plus five defense, eight immunity. I, I assume those have plus five defense, eight immunity. Yeah. Okay. So this this is how it works then, huh? So I guess we'll try it. Uh, hopefully I didn't mo miss out on my mermaid boots there, but uh, let's see. Yeah, plus five defense, eight immunity. So now we've got a whole entire like tuxedo look right here. <laughs> With the uh, the top hat and everything, it looks pretty good, pretty spiffy. A stark difference from our chicken mask and rancher farmer outfit that I had on before, huh? But for right now, it's 11, 10 p.m. I guess we'll go to bed uh, relatively early. Actually, before midnight. How long has it been since I went to bed before midnight, right? But about 50k overnight, not bad. Making up for some of the money that I uh, lost by trying to get the second top hat in the casino, right? But we still gained a lot of money in the casino. Uh, at least that's what I'm going to tell uh, Penny, right? <laughs> That's where all my money went, but anyways, hey little Gungus, what do you think about my spiffy outfit? Because you look pretty good yourself with that dino hat on, but anyways, you guys know the deal, morning time, all uh, all that kind of jazz. Let me do that morning busy work, and then whenever I'm done, let's just go over to the island and see if there's anything happening over there, like the banana tree is actually sprouting uh, banana fruit, or yeah, I bet I need to harvest some coffee beans over there too, it's been a little while, I'm sure those are done again. Oh yeah, I was going to put a hardwood in the wood chipper. I forgot to do another one, so man, that kind of sucks. At least it's just one at a time, right? We have 400 hardwood, so let's just put another hardwood over here. Bloop. And I guess we can go pay Robin a visit, see if we could actually get, I don't know, maybe two, three more of those things. I have to go into town today, don't work too hard and eat something good for lunch. There you go. I bet she likes my outfit. She didn't even comment on my outfit right there. But anyways, uh, let me just do all that morning busy work real quick, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Holy, real quick, check out my mail right now. Evelyn gave me a chocolate cake, an actual chocolate cake. Holy egg. Hello there, dear. I hope your farm is doing well. I'm sending you a little something from my kitchen. I hope it didn't crumble in the mail. Evelyn. Oh, yeah, that'd be kind of crazy if the heckin' giant three-layered chocolate cake with a, I assume, cherry on top actually crumpled in the mail. She probably said this thing in a giant package and everything. Golly, it's crazy, but yeah, boom, a giant chocolate cake. Does anyone like or love or anything? I need to keep, oh man, Abigail likes or loves it. Yeah, I need I need to keep tabs on who loves what, uh, just in case we actually get that mission for uh, Mr. Cheetah. You know, gift, was it 50 loved items within a week or some of that? Too bad we're starting like a day late in that regard, but uh, anyways, you guys know the deal. Let me do all that morning busy work and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Alright guys, I'm back, and I'm waiting for Robin. Looks like I can't actually buy anything from her until... Oh jeez, she's leaving? Well, never mind, I could buy it right now! 
Okay, so where is this? The sawmills. Or whichever, whatever. So we have one at home. I guess... Let's do five. So we have four right there. And I've got so much hardwood. It probably... We got 14 crystal arrows. We have like 10 bone mills. I don't know if I'd have the space if I got like 10 in total, you know? Well, like, I guess I could try it. And we could always... Yeah, you know what? We could always put the extra wood chippers in like, like the barn or even outside or something like that, right? So... Yeah, let's get another... So we have 10 in total now. We have one at home, nine right here. That should be fine. With the amount of hardwood we have, I don't think we need any more of that. That might be good. Is there anything else that I have? Uh, we Oh, we have a stone bris... Uh, you know what? I guess we'll get that recipe. I'm like, I've always been collecting these recipes just because we have the money for it. And just kind of as a completionist sort of meme, right? So I know it's now that we have that. Where is she even going? Hey, if you need any materials or blueprints, my shop is the place you're looking for. Well, I'm not buying... How, how much is she selling for a uh, wood for... Over here, like 50 or something like that, 10 each. What, I can't even see anymore. Close for the day. I'm like, <laughs> I just saw your left right there. Oh my gosh. Okay, whatever. Hey, at least we bought the stuff while she was technically working there, I guess, right? <laughs> but yeah, I think it was like 50 or so per wood. So yeah, I'm not buying from her, obviously. But speaking of buying stuff from uh, people, uh, let's go down to Clint and I guess we'll get a little bit of coal from him. All right, let's see how much. How much is it here? Is it like a hundred or something like that from? No, two fifty. Golly. Uh, well, we have zero right now. We kind of need it, so let's get like let's get fifty. Uh, we got so much money. We got one point seven. Yeah, you know what? Let's get a hundred. We got one point seven, or we had. Well, we still have one point seven. Actually, I thought I went below that, but yeah, you know what? Twenty five thousand or whatever I just spent right there. Yeah, yeah. I'm not even noticing it gone. All right, over here. So we have 12 days on that banana tree. Mango trees, 12 days there. Oh, yeah, and then the coffee here, too. I guess I'll start harvesting that while I'm here. But I think the, I think at least one banana tree over here is done. I guess we'll see here in just a minute. Is that done? It is. It says banana. Yeah, look at that. There's a banana right there. And we got another one. Okay, so if I still... Oh, yeah, you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got weeds growing here. I need I, I need to actually... Speaking of hardwood, I actually do need to place down those hardwood fences over here and protect some of my crops, right? Golly, we already lost one coffee plant right there, unfortunately, but... We're getting so many coffee beans right now. Anyways, it's easy to replace that, but now we don't want that to happen too many more times, right? So I know I brought hardwood here. I think we still have it, so I guess I could... Oh, man, there's uh, some down there by the Starfruit, too, so let's definitely take care of them, but also want to go over to Mr. Chi before uh, before it gets too late, honestly, <laughs> just in case it's something that's, like, super time-sensitive, right? All right, got rid of all those beads right there. Let's get some more coffee going. Uh, I guess, you know, you know what? Later in the day, after we go over to Mr. Chi, we'll... uh. We'll place down those hardwood fences, if I remember, golly. So, let's just go over to him real quick, see if there's- Oh man, there's more ginger- Yeah, I forgot about the whole ginger thing, I need to do that more for uh, Caroline. We have only like, what, 71 or something like that for her, so let's definitely keep looking around for any more. Any more right here? I need to go to the dig site and stuff like that too, golly, but let's see what he has available over here real quick. So what's it going to be? Cheese Hungry Challenge. Your task is to make it to level 100 of the Skull Cavern, however you can't eat or drink anything while there. Man, six days, three days for this? What in the world? Extended family, family members of the legendary fish have returned to the valley. You have three days to catch Miss Angler, Glacier Fish Jr., son of Crimson Fish, Radioactive Carp, and the Legend 2. And we get 20 Chi coin reward, Chi token rewards, whatever that is. But we only had three days to do that, though. And it's already 12, I mean... So where is, hold on, does it say, if I look up, like, Miss Angler, is it going to show me M.S. Angler? Oh, what the, <laughs> what the heck? Uses a bioluminescent dangler to attract prey, so it's an angler fish, but can't I only get that during, like, like the submarine thing during the winter trading event, whatever that night market stuff? So how would I get this? And what was the other one? Hold on. Oh, man, hold on. Wait, how good is her row, though? 480 right there. Eh, not bad. 1344 for the aged row. Golly, that's pretty good. What about the other ones, though? Glacier Fish Jr. Glacier Fish. So that's a regular Glacier Fish. Yeah, see, this one's during the winter time. So can I not catch it right now? Because it's fall? So why would I want to... <laughs> Look at the difference between Glacier Fish and Glacier Fish Jr. This one's got a hat and sunglasses on. <laughs> Gourmet. The original Glacier Fish had a sun. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> I love that little bit of detail there. Builds a nest in the underside of glaciers. Yeah. Wintertime, Forest River, south tip of the large island. Wait. Oh, yeah, I know where that roughly is, but it's not wintertime, though. And it doesn't say... Yeah, it doesn't say when I catch the junior, though. So, I might, I might... Hold on, let me pull up the real wiki real quick. 
Okay, I'm reading right now. Yeah, it says catch Mrs. Angler or Miss Angler, Glacier Fish Jr., son of Crimson Fish, radioactive carp in the Legend 2. They can be caught in the same locations as the older generations of fish, but fishing bar is not distinctly marked as it is with the original legendary fish. So I guess if you were about to catch a legendary, the little fish icon would be the fish and not just like a generic, like whatever fish. <laughs> it does not have to be raining for the Legend 2 to appear. The same level requirements for the original. But does it? It says, yeah, it says it has to be at the same locations. But it does have to be the same time. Like it said winter for that glacier fish. Okay, I I'm looking up this Legend 2 fish. I just randomly clicked on it while on the wiki page here. And it says it can be in the any season, any weather, stuff like that. So I guess this is fine. And it's showing me like a map and stuff of where you could actually find it too. So that could be pretty helpful. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Can I, it, since it's already noon right now, I'd, I'd hate for me to start it right now and I'm already losing half of a day, you know? So... Maybe I'll wait, especially because it's a three day thing. Is it going to reset tomorrow if I wait? Is it going to be a different mission tomorrow? Is it going to be the same mission? I don't know. I just want to have as much time as possible to do this, you know? But let me click on Miss Angler and Glacier Fish Jr. and whatnot. Yeah, Miss Angler, it says any season, any time of day. Yeah, same thing with Glacier Fish Jr. Doesn't say it has to be winter time. It says season, any season, any time of day. So with me reading this, it, it feels like this is possible. A lot more possible than level 100 without dying or well, obviously without dying, without eating and drinking anything. Like, unless I'm super duper lucky and I have like a thousand luck and I keep finding holes that drop me down like 20 levels at a time. Or if I have like a billion stone that I well, honestly need to do anyways for Robin. If I had a billion stone, even if I got the thousand stone right there, that's only 10 staircases, right? So, man, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think? I think I'm going to skip picking one right now. Just because I feel like I'm leaning towards the extended family, honestly. But because it's almost 1 p.m. right now, we're losing half a day anyways. And it's only a three day thing. So I'd hate to start it right now and lose on a half of a day, which is like a sixth of that heckin' mission right there. You know, so let me know in the comments down below. Which one do you guys think I should do? I know it's already it's going to be Wednesday by the time I actually do select the quest. Uh, but for right now, oh, man, are there any uh, coconuts? One eye, yeah. Uh, oh, man, another coconut right there. And I also need, yeah, I need to get some uh, ginger as well. Let's go to the dig site and whatnot. But let me set up some of the hardwood. I think they're right. Oh, yeah, let's get that first banana. Boom, we got a banana. That's a weird looking banana. It looks like a boomerang for some reason. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, I've got 100 hardwood just randomly right here. So, boom, put all that stuff up right there. Not bad. And uh, I think it's one. Yeah, it's just one hardwood per fence. So, I don't know. Uh, let me get like 50 here. Uh, there you go. I, I guess I could. Well, dang, I was about to say I could. I can place defenses only on the bottom and the right side. It's relatively safe on the top of that. But we just saw there was a weed on the top side that killed a, one of these crops. So, and if I did that, I need wood too to get a gate so I could actually walk through this. So, yeah, I might, I might have to cut down one of these trees around here. But let me just place these down and try and protect my crops. And I, uh, well, this is an adult now. So, I guess it'd be fine if I put the fences around it. But I, I think I'm going to save that for, uh, pathways path blocks so let me just keep placing these hardwood fences around the perimeter real quick and then later we could worry about uh placing down gates for me to go through but for right now this is mainly just to protect my heckin crops oh yeah i guess if anything like right here i place down uh like this just so i could still use that bridge right there you know but right here this tree is still technically growing so i'm not going to put anything right here so other than that like over here i i could just swipe away any any weeds that might grow like right there right so that should be fine uh, then, like, right here. I guess if anything, I can get rid of that, coincidentally enough, right there where that one died. And then place down a gate there if I have any wood here. But uh, it's 2.30 right now. Yeah, see, if I accept that quest, like, right now, we'd have, like, basically no time to do that. Even if I went straight to the locations, right? Oh, man, I've got 87 coal here. What in the world? Uh, I guess I wasted a little bit of money there buying uh, stuff from Clint. But, eh, whatever. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal, honestly. Uh, we still got some bombs here. I guess I could go over to the to the dungeon, blow up some bombs, try and get some stone that way for Robin's mission, right? I guess I could do that, yeah. And yeah, also looking for more dragon teeth, because I, I think I need five. I might as well, I still have the wiki pulled up. Yeah, for the island obelisk, I need, no, I need ten dragon teeth, so I need more anyways. And I need ten bananas. I thought I needed five bananas and five dragon teeth, but no. I have ten iridium bars, though, and a million gold, we still have that, so that's good. But other than that, yeah, I guess I'll go to the volcano dungeon, try and get some more dragon teeth. And then uh, every day we're going to get two bananas here starting tomorrow. So tomorrow we're going to have three bananas. The day after that we're going to have five bananas. It's still going to be a little while for that third banana tree to finally grow, right? So can't really rely on that. 
but uh, probably like five episodes from now or something like that. We're finally going to get the island obelisk, right? We won't have enough bananas and hopefully enough of uh, dragon teeth for me to do that, right? So for right now, uh, I kind of want to just clean out my inventory of all this stuff I don't really need. Oh yeah, I was looking for uh, wood. It's going to be this chest, right? I don't even have wood here. What in the world? I've got more hardwood than I have wood. Actually, I've, I've got the wood chipper, so how long does that take? Because I'm, I'm like, I was going to save that for home, but uh, I guess I could use at least one here, right? Three hours. Uh, I'll be back by then. Uh, not that big. Yeah, you know what? Let's actually uh, set some of these up right here, just because I have literally no wood, so I might as well uh, actually make use of it, right? So let's get those going. Oh, yeah, and then we got the deluxe fish tank. Uh, I guess we could put that cheese. I don't know. Yeah, you know what? I, I wanted to move my bed anyways. Hold on. There we go. I want to move it over here by the... Yeah, let's put it right there. Actually, hold on. I wanted to actually use this as a... There we go. Yeah, you know what? Yes, place it right there. Perfect. I can use that as an emergency bed. I don't have to walk all the way back here, right? I guess I can place this here. Place this here. Move this window over by one. Boom. And then we can start placing fish inside there. We got some fish here. What do we have? A sea cucumber right there. Oh, yeah. We got blue discus here, too. Midnight car. I guess I'll grab them. Lionfish, sure. Uh, Stingray. If, if I could even fit these guys in here, I know I could only have a certain amount of creatures in here. I, I guess we could also put coral. What in the world? We could also put coral in there, too. <laughs> Super cucumbers just sitting on the ground right there. And there you go. Yeah. So we got. Oh man, look at this thing right here. It looks pretty cool. Tiger fish and stuff in there too. Cool. It's 4 p.m. right now. We still got the bombs. We got the. Oh yeah. You know what? I still need to go to the other location to get the ginger. But we got one banana right there. I think I'm going to put that in the same chest as the dragon teeth, just so they're both in the same spot. You know. So put that in there. Don't know why that's in there. <laughs> that belongs in there. It belongs in the trash, honestly. But let's just go over to the dig site real quick. Man, no ginger here either. Golly. At least we still have like six, seven days or something like that for airline submission. But let's just go over to the dig site, see if there's any more ginger there. And if not, I'll probably just walk over the volcano. And, well, there's two spots of worms. Yeah, no ginger here like at all. Golly. So we'll see what's in the worm things. Any. Man, just mixed seeds. <laughs> you think I get Omni Geos out of that? Whoa, never mind. That made up for Artifact Trove and a golden coconut in the ground. Holy heck, how did that even get there? <laughs> Any golden, or, uh, yeah, no ginger there. Oh, we got a, uh, I forgot about, yeah, it's literally raining right now, so we got a gem bird. We got topaz. Cool. But, I don't know, is there anywhere else I can get ginger here? There, it might be on the wiki, like, all the spaces ginger can grow, you know? But it seems like today we're not really that good of a luck day. Even though our luck today is it's almost 7%, holy heck. It's actually kind of decent there, but let's just, uh, kill some of the enemies over here, especially the, oh, he's about to explode. He's about to, ah, he did a little bit of damage to me. Oh, nice, we got this guy right here. Boom, and we got a dragon juice. We're up to eight, I think. Not bad. But let me just keep going. Oh, man, there's a lot of lava in here. Uh, let me rearrange this. There you go. Put the bombs like so. Uh, whoops. There you go. That way I could do the water across the lava if I need to, right? But right now, let me just explore this area. Hopefully get a pretty good amount of stone for Robin's mission and two more dragon teeth. And then we'll have enough, right? So let me just go through here until like, I don't know, midnight or something like that. And I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Wish me luck. Oh, man, you guys, real quick. Oh, did you guys see it? Um, I just killed one of those Diglett guys, and it said I need to go talk to Gil over in the Adventures Guild. Yeah, it's definitely Gil in the Adventures Guild. Did I never put two and two together there? <laughs> Until now, I guess. <laughs> but, oh man, Omni Geo, not bad. Uh, but yeah, it seems like we're going to get another reward or whatever from him now that we kill enough of those Diglett guys. And I guess the, the fire variant still counts, so that's pretty good. Uh, eh, nothing good there. Oh yeah, and then we're getting more of the Cinder Shots. I definitely need to upgrade my stuff in that regard. Oh gosh, I'm almost heckin' dead, but... <laughs> Let me keep exploring the volcano dungeon here, and I'll let you guys know if anything else interesting happens. Oh my gosh, you guys. Got another dragon tooth right there. Hold on. Let me go grab it real quick, because I'm getting heckin' killed. Boom! Another dragon. So we just need one more, I think, right? Hopefully I can come across one of those lava guys. Oh, there's my- yes! Right there. Perfect. Hopefully I can get a dragon tooth from him. Nope. Just a dragon, or a regular bone fragment right there. Man! Oh, okay. We're- we're on the, uh, the dwarf- uh, Godly! We're on the dwarf level right now. Didn't get anything good right there, man. Guess I'll just leave. Yeah, let's take the shortcut. Let's just go home. And, uh, any ginger out here? None, I don't see. Man, I, th I don't know if there's any more, uh, golden... Well, I don't think there's anything to buy from the golden walnuts. Anyways, right? I've just got, like, two or three extra right now, but... Let's just go back to the farm real quick. And I suppose if we have any... Man? <laughs> I suppose if we have any... Yeah, I have one ginger. I think I got that from, like, killing an enemy. How are we doing on that? Wow! Just one, sh honestly, short session in the volcano dungeon. We're halfway on this thousand pieces of stone for Robin's resource rush. Holy heck. Man, that was really good there. And yeah, just forgetting about that. 74 harvested, 77 shipped. Not bad. Could be better, though, but uh, our wood over here should be done, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Uh, let me see if there's anything I can get put up in these, though, so we can get a little bit of inventory space back to actually grab the wood, right? So there you go. 
I guess we could do another set of wood overnight, huh? Do we have any uh, hardwood here? I think we, yeah, we still have it. Yeah, I got I got a little bit of hardwood from either like a chest or like an enemy or something like that. Gave me like four hardwood in there, so it was pretty cool. So there you go, get those going. Those are going to give me regular wood. So how much wood did we? We got 82 out of that. Honestly, not bad. Was it nine pieces right there? Eh, average like what nine ish uh, pieces of wood from each sawmill right there or wood chipper, whatever it's called. Golly, <laughs> honestly, not bad, not terrible. I guess it's good for a little bit of wood in a pinch, especially if we have a lot of hardwood, right? But that should be enough to get a gate, I believe, right? Hold on. Uh, oh, wow, I need 10 for it. Holy heck, yeah, I didn't need that much. But yeah, let's just get that going over here. Boom, awesome. Uh, maybe I'll set up another one over there on that side. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. We, we got enough wood. Uh, set up another one, especially because I'm still going to get the hardwood back right now. Anyways, right? So I suppose we'll put one gate on each side here just so I'm not, like, trapped in there. I'm still able to go in and out as I please, so I guess I'll do it right here where the sprinkler is. Oh, I thought I get the hardwood bag. It must be too late, huh? Uh, there you go. And we got worms right here. I guess I'll grab that. Blip. Let's do another one here on the bottom side. I guess I'll do it right. Uh, yeah, let's do it right here. Sure. Let's get a gate there. And I, I technically already have... Oh, jeez. I'm Man, I'm falling asleep outside on the island. I don't know if there's a penalty here, though, right? Like, you just lose the money. And, and of course, like, energy stamina or whatever else. I, I don't think you actually, like, lose items. I think it only happens when you die in the or, you know, fall asleep in the dungeon, huh? Well, also when you die in the dungeon, too, but still. Day 24 or fall year 5, or year... Jeez, year 5? Year 3? <laughs> and I think both our banana trees should be done today, right? I don't think I block... Yeah, look at that. Two bananas right here. Awesome. So we get... Boom, boom. So now we have three in total. I, I, I think we still have nine dragon teeth in here, right? We, yeah, we still have... To, so I, I still need to get one more. So I'm like, in the time where we're waiting until we actually get enough... We have three bananas right now. In the time that I'm waiting to get the next seven bananas, which is what, four more days? Because you get two bananas per day. Uh, that should be enough time to get one dragon tooth, right? But real quick, before I actually end off the episode, and by the way, hold on, we have 52, and then now we're up to 113. Awesome. Okay, that's actually eh, not bad. A little bit worse than it was just a minute ago, though, where we got like basically nine per sawmill right there. So, uh... The average is going down. Could be a little bit better, but when you're kind of in a pinch, I guess it'll still work, right? But let's just go over to Mr. Chi. Let's go see if those same missions are still available. Yeah, there's a, yep, still says three days right there. Still says Hungry Challenge right there. So yeah, I'm leaning towards the extended family thing. Let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think. It's still going to be three days. So even if I start it last episode or, you know, yesterday in game, or if I start it now, it's still three days. So at least I'm waiting until now rather than it being like noon or whatever, 1 p.m. Uh, we can start this mission at like 7 a.m. like it is right now, right? Or, you know, next episode is probably going to be like 6.30 when I actually grab it, right? But let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think about that? Should I do the extended family? Is it super hard? Is it even doable? Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Uh, I'll at least give it a shot, just like the cheese crop thing. At least it's going to be a little bit more doable, right? Than the 500 cheese crop in what was it, 10, 12 days or whatever that was. I'm like, right now, we have how many uh, chi beans? I think we have like 50-something at home. We have... 15, 16 here. Yeah, that's not even close to 500 of the actual seeds, let alone uh, growing them and getting 500 fruit out of them, right? So I'm glad I kind of abandoned that mission, right? But right now, I guess we'll just end the episode off right here. We'll start looking forward to next episode. So until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And when you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Stardew Valley comes out so you don't miss it. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. And me and the Gormon Frog and two fake Gormon Frogs will see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, oh by there. there. Hey, even the Gormon Frog said oh by there. <laughs> oh, oh by there. there. Thank you.